All right, uh, 849, 850. These are partnership hog uh, crossbred gilts with Three's Company, uh, Austin and Mortensen there, uh, sired by Quitten Time, as I've talked about Quitten Time, having a good run at Expo last uh, uh, week, as well as hogs that have fed extremely well here for the past season and a half. Uh, look forward to what they're going to do. Uh, mother would be a classic move. Uh, Sal be a first-time guilt, but uh, uh, sure did a nice job, I think, uh, matching this up. Um, we're going to start off with the uh, 135.5. This would be uh, 849. Um, this guilt here, you know, a little paler hided, but uh, I think a quality kind of a guilt. It's got a really good skeleton, good-looking, uh, tall-fronted, got a nice uh, pastern set. I think one that'll feed on to a, a really nice kind of a big ring gilt in terms of uh, uh, balance and design and, and still having enough of everything. Maybe not cooperating the best, but I think she, she she covers a lot of the bases and I think a very feedable, easy feeding kind of a gilt that can be awfully, awfully good uh, when she's asked to be good. The power gilt is the 850. Uh, that one there offers a shot more muscle and power. Uh, big top kind of a gilt that's got a, a, a big, big ended, but still mobile enough off both ends. Big forearm kind of a hog. Uh, market breeding, do what you need to do. I think she can fit either one of them and still uh, still offer some quality in terms of uh, having some generating ability, uh, not only with the pedigree, but just looks uh, so burly and stout, easy keeping, big centered kind of a gilt. Pair of gilts we like a great deal, a little different in their type and kind. Just pick your poison.